everybody. I want to give an update on the aquaponics system since we haven't done a video in a while. Come on in. Okay. Alright, so let's start by talking about the pond. Uh, one of the things I found is that um, the red swamp crawfish are actually not very good for aquaponics because they tend to leave the pond, especially when it rains a lot. If you look in there now, I don't think you can see any of them. I think they've all left. Um, so what I did is I actually added some koi. Um, added quite a few of them. Uh, I was having problems with the plants. We're not getting enough nutrients because all the crawfish had left. Uh, they're doing a lot better now. Uh, the other thing you can see is the green water problem has, has been resolved. Uh, part of that is because it's been raining a lot and it's been cloudy. Uh, the other part is because uh, the Daphne, I believe, are doing a good job of, of keeping up with the uh, floating algae as well. Alright, so if you look up, uh, up at the plants now, um, you can see they're doing a lot better. They're starting to thrive. They're growing a little bit more. Uh, the, the aphids problem seems to have been resolved. I think part of that was just because they weren't very healthy. They're a lot healthier now and the, the pests seem to have uh, seem to have left, or have been handled by the predators at least. Um, I've added in um, some mint. This is an aquatic mint and I just have it growing in the filter. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the this bond on this part of the filter. That gave way and it started leaking. And the reason is because um, the PVC cement and the silicon do not actually stick to this type of plastic that these buckets are made out of. So I found a bonding agent that 3M makes uh, that will stick to this plastic, but it's highly toxic. Um, so what I did is I attached that with that bonding agent, which bonded really well, and then I put several layers of PVC cement on top of that, and then a layer of silicone on top of that to basically encapsulate it and, and so the water doesn't actually come in contact with that bonding agent. I don't know how well that'll work. I'll have to see if that holds up over time. If we start having fish die off because of the bonding agent, I may have to um, I may have to use a different material than these buckets for for uh, for this filter. Uh, you can see this this filter down here. You can see it's dripping. You can get where the, I don't know if that'll show up in the camera, but and the reason is because I have, haven't used that bonding agent on this joint yet, and it's, so it's leaking. This one is a very slow leak. It, um, it's probably losing maybe three gallons a day or so keep through here and actually I think that's a benefit because it allows me to do a very slow partial water change so about three gallons a day I replace that with new water um, and that's actually beneficial for the fish it doesn't seem to be leaching too many nutrients because the plants are still doing still thriving well so I'll probably leave that for now unless it really starts leaking much faster and it becomes a problem uh, the other thing I added was the strawberries all right, so the way I did this is I got these uh, these large PVC pipes. This is the um, the the cell matrix type. It's a light a lighter PVC. It's a thin light one. It's not meant for pressure, but we're not using any pressure. And I drilled about 50 holes in this. So ba this basically has five pipes. Each pipe has 10 holes each. And then I got these strawberries. And what I did is I took a pool noodle like this and I sliced it. And then what, you get a little ring and you cut into the ring. And I'll show you what that looks like. I've got some here that I've cut up here. You get that, you put your plant in there and close around like that. And then that then fits into your hole. That then fits into your hole in the pipe like that. And holds the plant in place, but it's very spongy and it allows the plant to expand without um, being confined too much. Uh, and it holds it in place. Uh, that seems to work really well, at least for now. We'll see how it holds up over time, but the plants are doing really well at this point. You can also see I got a tomato growing in the back there. That's actually coming off of one of the one of the plants that's actually growing in the ground on the greenhouse. I just let it go and it's sort of expanding out here, so I'm gonna be getting some tomatoes from that that system over there. That's actually not built into the aquaponics or the hydroponic system. It's just growing right straight in the ground. Um, I left that there. It's going to be making some uh, tomatoes soon. And that's pretty much it for the update. Do you have any questions, Robbie? Do you want to ask before we close the video? Um, hmm. Not really. Okay. Well, we'll uh, do another update whenever we have any new information.